like what do you like about how Patrick Marlowe is integrated to, you know, to a new mm-hmm. city, a new team, a new system, and all that? Well, I'm sure Patty would tell you it's a work in progress. Anytime you've got four kids and a wife and you live in the same place 20 years, um, it's going to take you some time. And there's going to be some moments at home probably that aren't great. And yet uh, the rink is going to be a safe haven for you. You just come here and play. And, you know, obviously I thought Pat was real good the other night. I thought his line was real good. And they were effective. And, you know, he penalty killed. He played on the power play. He was a good player for us. So I think it's nice for him that he scored early. You don't have to go two weeks without scoring and everyone asking you questions you don't want to answer. So this is the way he just gets off to a good start. Now we won the one game and we got to be way better. We understand that. Watching New York play last night, they're a very good team, so we're going to have to be ready. Why was now the right time to get Morgan back on the power play? Well, the first thing is is that the priority for us was to teach him how to play defense. So that was the first priority. and. Uh, winning games is obviously important in your job as a coach, but when you're building a program, uh, you got to get your best players to be good players. And so uh, it had more to do with what we were trying to do with them than uh, whether you played on the power play or not. So uh, power play was fine last year without him, and, and he got to be a better player, and, and that's what we're trying to do. Do you think the year of killing penalties going against top lines did make a difference? Like, you see it? Well, I don't know that. I mean, uh, you know, he'd tell you when he was dash at the end of the year, probably wasn't that much fun. That's that's the problem with some of the stuff when you don't look at who you're playing against. It's a way different game. Now, uh, bringing Hainsey here to help him out is, is going to make a huge difference. Just you got a veteran player who is calm and knows how to play and has learned over time. That'll really help you. Obviously, last year, starting the year with Zeitz, and as much as we wanted those two guys to play together, it didn't go as good as we would have liked in the end. But uh, I thought it was a good year for both of them learning-wise. Mike, in the games you've watched so far, how much has the crackdown on slashing made it tougher for the defense? I don't think it makes it one bit tougher, actually. I think it makes it easier because instead of having your stick in the air, you can actually put it on the puck where it's some good. So is it, is it a misplaced crackdown? No, I think it was important they crack down. Uh, I don't think slashing the guy in the hands is is a good idea, but I think it forces a player to be a better player. I don't know if that makes any sense. I don't think there's any downside to not slashing the guy in the hands. I just think your stick should be down on the ice anyway, and that's why why would we have all those high stick and penalties when it's supposed to be on the puck? It makes no sense. A quick, quick, quick Rangers team maybe lead to the decision to have Dave Rosen in there for a look, Mike, or what led to that? No, just uh, I didn't know the difference between the two of them. I decided we were going to play Borgman there and Rosen here, and I did the same with Fair. Fair is a Winnipeg kid. You know, Morsey played in New York. That's in the end, that's how I made my decision. So I don't think that's scientific enough to keep anybody out of the lineup. Are you going to take like 10 games to kind of Yeah, that's a good out? question. Uh, we're going to figure it out. What's it like for you, though, when, when you have the depth? The guy like Fair leads you in shorthanded ice one night, and then three nights later you can comfortably take him out and put someone else in. Well, I don't know. I said if it was comfortable, and I don't even know if it's if, – if you just base it on you won, you should never change your lineup. But the problem is, is, is then I don't think you're being fair to the people and fair to our group and developing the best group we can. So, I mean, those decisions uh, can always be second-guessed on a win-loss basis. To me, we're trying to build a program and do the right thing and evaluate our players and, and get better, and so that's why we're doing it. A lot of coaches don't have that luxury, though. You know, I guess, uh, you know, it's like anything. you still got to make the decision. You can avoid making that decision and just say, hey, we won and we don't get them in. But uh, we think they're, they're all good players. If it was clear that one guy was ahead of the other guy, there'd be no decision to make, and so I wouldn't have to worry about that. But uh, obviously, we're we're deeper than we've been, and I think that's what you're getting to in a long time. I mean, Sasha and Cappy can play in the National Hockey League without any question, and and yet they're not here. Is the home open a, a special night for you? Kind of takes you back to the beginning of what's exciting about hockey. Well, I mean, hockey's exciting about hockey, so I don't need to get anything to get me more fired up about it. And saying that, I think the home opener is a great thing, and it's a celebration of the start of the year. I'm glad we played a game already, so you get that under your belt. Uh, I thought uh, we weren't very good early in that game, and ideally we'll be better in this game. But I think it's important to celebrate your team with your fans in your city, and, and that's what the opening night's about. We have to find a way to play well. What does Merchant have to do at the AHL level to eventually earn an NHL job again? Well, I think the big thing here is is just obviously uh, we think Marty has lots of good skills to play in the National Hockey League, and, and confidence has been something we've talked a lot about. You go there and play well, and every time the manager and the coach are there watching you, play well, and then when there's an opportunity, 
you get call, called upon. In the meantime, though, we're in a process that you know, Borgman and Rosen haven't played in the NHL for a long time. We don't want either one of them sitting around. So if they're not playing, uh, they won't they won't be here.